Money feel like you are Take me up small Breathe me in and let me go Feeling the lungs inside you And the black and eyes Make my way into your mind Just to know what you knew Best miss every time we start knocking all right, so we're gonna start off with two cups of barley measured out. Uh, boil some water, add your barley, cook it for 25 minutes. It's gonna make sure that the barley is really hydrated. So always overcook it a little bit more. Don't be afraid. At this point, we're gonna dry the barley. So we can lay out some uh, paper towels on a sheet pan and then we're just gonna lay the barley on there and let it dry out. This is very important since you're gonna add the barley to uh, essentially frying oil so you might you have to take out all the liquid so it doesn't spark too much or uh, puff in you or spray you with oil if that makes sense now that the barley is all laid out we're also going to put some paper towels over it to pat it dry from the top we're gonna leave this like this for about five minutes to cool down and dry out to get the barley nice and dry before we proceed to the next step of getting ready to puff it. In a saucepan, heat up your oil to 400 degrees. Now you're gonna drop in your barley and just fry it until it doesn't fizz no more, which means all the, the liquid is out of it. It becomes nice and crunchy, almost like uh, uh, cereal. You'll notice it right away. It looks like cereal, so you just gotta keep on doing that, and uh, it's gonna work out really well for you. Now that it's fried and puffed up, now you're gonna spray, uh, sprinkle a little seasoning. For this one, I just did a little kosher salt. You can do sea salt, you can do uh, cinnamon and sugar. It depends on what you're using it for. This one I'm using for salad, so I just wanted a little bit more savory. You can pull it apart if it, if it clustered up on you. If it clusters up, it's just because of all the starch in the barley, but it's easy to pull apart once it's fried. You let it sit at room temperature to cool off and then you store it for whenever you're gonna use it. Always store it in a airtight container or a Ziploc bag and that's it. So there you have it, puff barley. As always, stay tuned uh, for future episodes. Love you guys, don't forget to hit subscribe, leave me any comments, feedbacks, any suggestions for new videos that you might have. Until next time, love you guys, bye.